I Pensacola family is heartbroken tonight after an outdoor cat they had been feeding and taking care of was set on fire and burned alive. WEAR's Yona Gavino joining us live in the studio tonight. And Yona, both the Escambia Sheriff's Office and Animal Control are now looking for the people responsible for this. Bob, they are, but Escambia County Animal Control is the one taking the lead. We're told it's still too early in the investigation to determine if charges could be filed in this case. If they determine charges are appropriate, the Sheriff's Office would be the one making those arrests. Kitty kitties. All the kitties. This is the outdoor colony of cats that call Pensacola's Montclair subdivision home. Look at all the kitties we got. The three Hayden kids who were not showing feed them every day, plus the family's four indoor cats. The group of 35 or so kitties is now one member short. Obviously, we're devastated, completely devastated. After this little girl named Little Friend was killed. She was just the sweetest cat. Don Hayden says by neighborhood teens on Sunday just before 2 a.m. There was apparently six or seven different kids that were uh, circled around this um, cat and they could just were pouring gasoline on the cat and lit, lit the cat on fire. Hayden told me his wife and youngest son saw a neighbor's video that captured the cat tortured and torched alive. That was pretty much my wife's favorite cat. She called me bawling, but she's uh, been persistent. She was the one that was walking around the neighborhood trying to find out if there was video footage and trying to find out who did this. We were sent video of the aftermath too graphic to show on TV. What they did was just absolutely cruel, and I want the people who did this to pay for what they did. He worries the teens who recently moved to the neighborhood won't stop at animal cruelty. My concern is they're going to come on my porch and they're going to grab another cat and they're going to do the same thing, or they're going to find out that they've been reported and they're going to come and try and do something to my home. We saw one of the outdoor cats in the neighborhood and a sheriff's office deputy. Hayden said he wishes more people cared for animals who love and just want that in return. I just want them to know that these cats are important, you know, that they're just like people and they deserve to be loved. If you're sitting at home seeing the story and wondering what you can do to help, here's what Animal Control said in part. Most of these animals are not socialized and aren't candidates to be adopted for indoor pets. That's why things like spaying and neutering outdoor animals is so important to reduce these populations in the long run. Bob.